hypothermia more nutrition um, hypothermia is defined as oral or rectal temperature less than 35 and 5 degrees Celsius or it may be defined as axillary temperature than 35 degrees Celsius the predisposing uh, condition factors to hypothermia in, in malnourished patients is fact, uh, first thing is that they have reductive adaptation and uh, they have a thin, this means they have a thin layer of subcutaneous fat so uh, they, they don't have uh, enough insulation and then there is uh, abundant shivering response so they cannot generate heat through shivering and they have a very low uh, basal metabolic rate so they cannot also generate heat through the metabolism then infants are also prone to hypothermia because they have a larger body surface area uh, to weight ratio and um, infections infections this would also um, impair the body's uh, uh, physiological mechanisms of response to hypothermia then hypoglycemia uh, we like to say hypoglycemia and hypothermia are in the same whatsapp group because if the patient is hypoglycemic it means that they cannot increase their basal metabolic rate um, or if they are to increase their basic metabolic rate, they would need the glucose for them to be able to raise their temperature. So if the patient is hypoglycemic, that will make them hypothermic and vice versa. Then denoted skin, also any breaches in the skin. Uh, then the management of hypothermia in malnutrition, uh, we talk of uh, active rewarming. So active rewarming involves uh, kangaroo K in the use of protein heaters uh, we'll discuss these two separately then after uh, well, apart from that we'll talk of correcting hypoglycemia like we said hypoglycemia and hypothermia is the same uh, whatsapp group so we need to correct that as soon as possible if you are to be able to if you are to be able to raise the temperature then we also need to treat infections we know that assist can contribute to hypothermia so IV antibiotics should be given as soon as possible Uh, then we need to cover the head. Uh, we know that a very large uh, percentage of the surface area in babies is in the head. Uh, we will keep the babies in a warm room. Um, temperature should be 28 and 38 to 32 degrees uh, Celsius. So this will prevent uh, the heat loss um, by, by, by convection and, 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 uh, and conduction. So we also talk of um, closed windows and doors. This will also prevent heat loss by convection. Okay. Then uh, we took uh, also the pen and uh, ne we need to keep the baby dry um, and we need to change diapers in any way the way as soon as possible. Regularly the temperature should be checked every two hours. For kangaroo care, um, the baby should be dressed in a pamper only so we remove all the clothes and you put the baby on the skin to skin contact with the mother's chest so the baby will be facing the mother um, and the mother will also be facing the baby and they will be having chest to chest um, contact direct skin to skin contact um, then there will be a blanket wrapped around them okay then you, we always make sure that the hands of the patient are restricted because yeah, if the baby is feeling hot they can either uh, be able, should be able to put their hands outside of the blanket and if they're feeling cold they should be able to put uh, their hands inside of the blanket this is just to allow the baby to regulate their own temperature then for a radiant heater um the risk or the danger with this is that malnourished babies are prone to hyperthermia and their radiant heaters uh, this is because the reductive adaptation as well they have no sweat response and they really low sweat pace so you know, a rise in temperature in the environment can also make them to be to have very high temperatures and they can actually put hyperthermia and that can be a detrimental then so we don't want that to happen so if your patient is is being warmed or radiant um, for this marriage patient then we have to measure the temperature every 30 minutes to check if they're getting hyperthermia okay thank you